Ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin ay kukunin natin yung midpoint ng isang linya or isang line. Dito sa aking example, makikita nyo meron akong dalawang points. Point A at saka point B. Sa paghanap ng midpoint ng line segment na ito, ang gagawin lang natin is hanapin yung uh, pinakagitna ng ating line segment. So, kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa example na to, kung kukunin natin yung gitna along the x-axis, ang gitna niya will be at 3. At kung kukunin naman natin yung gitna niya along the y-axis, ang y-axis will give you 2. At yung point of intersection ng x and y point na yan, yan yung tinatawag natin na midpoint. So, madali lang makita yung midpoint visually kasi meron tayong given a graph dun sa x-y plane. As yung point A is 1, 1, ang point B is at 5, 3, ang midpoint niya na tinatawag, na hinahanap natin kanina by using our inspection method is at 3 and 2. Nasa first quadrant then Now, madaling makuha yung midpoint kapag nakikita natin yung ating linya kasi pwede lang tayo magbilang ng units along the x-axis at sa y units at makukuha na natin yung midpoint. Pero today, meron tayong formula na pwede natin gamitin para makuha natin yung midpoint ng isang given line. Dito sa ating example number 1, we need to find the midpoint of a given line passing through points 4, 10, and negative 2, 8. At para makita natin yung midpoint nitong line segment na ito, kahit hindi tayo nakakakita ng graph, makukuha pa rin natin yung midpoint using this midpoint formula. At ang midpoint formula is given by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2, comma, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So, ang magiging sagot natin kapag ginamit natin yung midpoint formula is not a real number, pero isang ordered pair. So, ang unang step natin na gagawin para mahanap natin yung midpoint is to label our given points. Since meron tayong dalawang points, meron tayong dalawang sets ng x at saka y. So, yung first set natin will be x sub 1 and y sub 1, at yung second set natin will be x sub 2 and y sub 2. After labeling our points, pwede na natin gawin yung direct substitution using the formula. So, we'll have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, we have 4 and negative 2. 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2. At yung ating y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2 will be y sub 1 which is 10 plus 8 all over 2. Now, by simplifying our expression, we'll have 2 over 2, comma, 18 over 2. Therefore, yung midpoint nitong line segment na ito, given the points 4, 10, and negative 2, and 8, will be 1 and 9. So, yan yung conven convenient way ng pagkuha uh, ng midpoint ng uh, isang linya na given yung dalawang points. Yung sa susunod naman natin example, we have to find the midpoint of a line segment, PQ, given that P is equal to 3 and negative 2 and Q is equal to negative 7 and 3. So tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, since ang hinahanap natin is yung midpoint, ilalabel lang natin yung mga set, set natin ng x's and y's para makuha natin or magamit natin yung formula ng tama. So kung meron tayong 3 and negative 2, yung x sub 1 is 3, y sub 1 is negative 2, at kung meron naman tayong negative 7 and 3, yung x sub 2 at yung y sub 2 will be negative and 7, 3 respectively. So using our formula by direct substitution, we'll have 3 plus negative 7 all over 2 and negative 2 plus 3 all over 2 and by simplifying our fraction, we'll have negative 4 all over 2 which is negative 2 and 1 over 2 which is 1 half. So kailangan tandaan nyo na um, alamin nyo or practice nyo yung pag-add and subtract ng mga integers para makuha nyo yung inyong midpoint ng walang mga problema. So ito yung ating Line segment PQ, given by this line, at yung midpoint natin na negative 2 and 1 half is at x negative 2 at y at positive 1 half. So yan yung ating midpoint using our midpoint formula.